So let's now look at some actual ultrasound images. So again, this is a picture of a mother's womb. And we're interested in two things. We're interested in how the baby is lying inside the womb if the baby's head is up or if it's down. We also want to know where the placenta is. This is the placenta that connects the baby to the mother. And we want to make sure this placenta is not blocking the birth canal, which is down here. So this is our first ultrasound image. Again, uh, just imagine the dot right over here on the left side. We're scanning with the dot pointing up. So this is the up. You can see that the baby's head is down. So this is a vertex presentation, and the birth canal is right over here on this side, because this is down. So this is what we want to see where the baby's head is on the right side of the screen. So this is baby, head is down. Now, on the ultrasound, anything that's black, like right over here, is usually air or liquid. So this is liquid. This is the water inside the mother's womb, uh, also known as amniotic fluid. Uh, white things are usually bone. So this is the skull of the baby, all the white things. And muscles and other things like that are usually gray in between. In this example, the baby's head is pointing up because the dot is on the left side, which is pointing up. So this is pointing up. So this is breech. The birth canal is down here. The baby's feet is down here. So this is a breech presentation and you definitely want to know if the baby's breech before you deliver because it's much more difficult to deliver a breech baby. Again, this black area is amniotic fluid. Now, this is the womb, mother's womb. This is the placenta right over here. If you remember, this is closer to the skin. The skin is right over here. Just imagine the probe here um, with a dot. The skin is right here. So this placenta is to the front of the mother. So this is called an anterior placenta. To the front of the mother, closer to the skin. This is another example of an anterior placenta where this is the placenta. This is the amniotic fluid. This placenta is closer to the top here, which is the skin. So again, this is closer to the front of the mother. So this is called anterior placenta. We actually don't get a good image of the birth canal down here, so this is actually not a good image. But this is clearly an anterior placenta because it's closer to the skin here at the top. This is an example of a, what we call a fundal placenta. This is the very top of the mother's womb. okay? Um, and this placenta is stuck right at the top. So this is called a fundal placenta. This is exactly the opposite of where the birth canal is, so this is good. This placenta is not going to be obstructing the, the birth canal. Again, black is amniotic fluid. Here's the baby's head. Um, this is the placenta. This one is posterior, so it's much deeper down below. Skin is here, so this is towards the back of the mother, so this is called the posterior placenta. Now, we want to talk about placenta previa. So let's say this is the placenta, and this is the birth canal, um, which is where the baby comes out. Sometimes the placenta creeps down and actually covers the birth canal. This is a problem, because if this placenta is covering the birth canal, how can the baby be delivered? Um, this baby, is, so this is actually a, a problem because not only is there a, pl a placenta preview here, the baby is also breech. So two issues with this pregnancy. Let's look at some examples. Okay, this is a placenta preview. The birth canal is kind of right over here. It's kind of hard to see the actual birth canal. It's called the internal os. Um, before birth, there really is no opening, so you really have to be just 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 uh, is seen as a line. But just imagine that this is the where the birth canal is, but this placenta, this whole thing is covering it. So this is a an example of placenta previa. Another one right over here. This whole thing is the placenta, 
and that's clearly covering the um, the bottom part of the mother's womb. Here the, here's the baby's head. Another example of placenta previa, this whole thing is placenta. This is the baby's head. So this is a vertex baby. But um, actually this is the internal os, which is very difficult to see. But again, this whole area at the bottom of the womb is covered by the placenta. Um, so this is a placenta previa.